Maths is all about numbers. Everything that you learn in mathematics is nothing but different forms of number pattern. Actually, not just math, but all physical phenomena, natural phenomena, everything can really be explained using number patterns, right? So these number patterns are at the very core of all math or all nature, right? Let's look at a very simple number pattern, right? Let's say one, three, five, seven. What are these? If you look at them, what are they? These are nothing but odd numbers. These are nothing but odd numbers, right? Now you could visualize them as triangles, one triangle. This is three triangles. If I divide it further, this will be five triangles here, seven triangles, right? So if I want to divide a triangle into each part, into equal areas, the number of triangles I'll get in each row is going to be an odd number, right? This is one way to visualize it. Now let's add them and see. One, one and three you add, you'll get four. One plus three plus five, you'll get nine. One plus three plus five plus seven, you'll get 16. Right? What are these? Nothing but square numbers, right? Why do you get square numbers? Because adding triangles gives you squares, right? Two triangles make up a square, which is why adding these numbers that represented triangles gave you a square. So it's just one way to see it, right? There's another way we can visualize triangles. Let's take one. Then I have one and two, one, two, and three, one, two, three, and four. These are all triangles, right? The first one has just one point. The second one has three points. The third one has six points. The fourth one has 10 points, right? So we call all of these as triangular numbers, right? We call them as triangular numbers because as you see, they form triangles, right? Now, again, we said if you add up triangles, you get squares. So if you add these triangles, you should again be getting squares, right? Let's try it. We have one first, one and three, gives you four, three and six gives you nine, square again, six and 10 gives you 16, square again, right? So you get these square numbers. These are nothing but square numbers, right? One, four, nine, 16 are nothing but square numbers, right? You can see that in the figure also. What we did here, one plus three, so one and three gave you four, right? I'm just rotating the triangle and putting it on top. Three and six gives you nine, right? 6 and 10 gives you 16, right? So multiple ways in which you can visualize a simple concept of triangles and squares, right? It actually links numbers, geometry, algebra, everything, right? Which is why number patterns are so fascinating, right? When you start visualizing number patterns, they become extremely fascinating. And this is nothing new for you. You've already been learning number patterns for a very long time now. In fact, what is the very first thing that you learn in math? It's nothing but a number pattern. The first thing that you learn in maths is nothing but counting, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. That is nothing but a number pattern. And we also have a name for it. That's natural numbers. And we represent it with N, 